Yo, what up everyone? Crypto Marxist, aka Bone Army coming at you with another video. This one's about SHIB the Metaverse. So it looks like they posted a SHIB the Metaverse April update on the blog. So if you don't already know, go ahead and follow official sources, like the tweets, and share the tweets, retweet. All right, so let's get right into it. Do, do, do. And then bring it down. All right, cool. So this is the official update. Shib the Metaverse April update. April 10th, 2023. Five minute read. Shib the Metaverse. Since our last blog post about Shib, the Metaverse, the project, has accomplished a lot. It has had events, made structural changes to the team, created new designs for specific hubs, and made modifications to the project's roadmap and vision. We're confident that these numerous changes will thrill you beyond belief. This blog serves as a conduit for updates from the different teams that make up this project. We strive to keep you involved in this progression of the metaverse's development and ensure that you are well informed about its progress. Let's start at the end. Many of you may be wondering the same thing. When? While all development takes time, the metaverse team is confident that by the end of 2023, users will have the opportunity to explore some of the areas in this fantastic world, built, design, play, and develop within it. However, it should be noted that not all areas of the metaverse will be fully completed as it is an ongoing project. The world will continuously evolve and develop, but there will be several optimized hubs and all necessary tools for users to start building and creating. New social account. The Metaverse team has been forced to create a new one. And from now on, all communications and official updates will be made from this new account. The new official Twitter is at Metaverse Shib. So at MB Shib. And if you guys don't know, basically the Fudders, the Shadow Cats that were part of the Discord team that launched Paul, they control that. Um, Twitter. So in order to keep the information flow going and to update the Sheeb and the Bone Army, they were forced to make a new account. In fact, it was so embarrassing that during the South by Southwest festival, that account that was supposed to be the official Metaverse account wasn't even posting. I called them out on it. it it's, it's, but it's okay. That's what we're here for, though. Bone to the moon, baby. If you want to be on top of all the latest news, we suggest that you follow this new account as an added incentive. There is a contest to win free land. Check it out. We're excited to announce a brand new Twitter where you can find the latest updates about our project. To celebrate it, we're launching a contest to give away 10 lands. To enter, simply follow us and retweet this post. Ends at 30th of April. So essentially you have to the 30th of April to follow and retweet, okay? So you can just go straight from here. I'm already following, as you guys know. I'm a like, I'm a retweet, and probably do a video on that. All right, so now let's go back, okay? So it says, improvements on development infrastructure. The vision and direction of SHIB. The metaverse has undergone a major change to provide users with a more photorealistic experience. The metaverse team has adapted their existing development work and is now building new hubs from this new starting point. The results are impressive and the metaverse team is confident that the level of quality they will offer will exceed user expectations. And here you have an in-game capture of Rocket Pond's hotspot. Hot and look at the textures look at the reflections off of the water look at the different colors within the rocks different strata vertical horizontal diagonal you can see the the trees off in the distance you can see the the, the perspective you can see the vantage point just the you can see the different tones within the grass i mean it, it really does look pretty good I have to admit, by utilizing all of Unreal's in-engine capabilities, the team has been able to restructure their crew and using modern, hands-on approach to developing this massive open world without the headache of painfully long 
troubleshooting that was previously an inevitable part of gameplay design. Developing in Unreal Engine 5.1 has not only strengthened their pipeline, but has also shortened the workflow process. Key tools being developed for version one. For the first version of Sheep the Metaverse, the Metaverse team is diligently developing a series of tools to make the experience truly fantastic. Some of the key tools that will provide users with endless possibilities are as follows. Plot Builder. The Plot Builder is a user-friendly interface tool that allows users to create and customize their plots. Bullet. Object Placement. Users can build from scratch with various pre-built pieces or place complete pre-built objects such as buildings, trees, and decorations to create a unique scene or landscape. Bullet. Terrain editing. The tool provides options for adjusting the terrain of the plot, such as raising, lowering, and flattening the ground. Users can also paint the terrain with different textures like grass sand, or rock to create a realistic environment. Bullet. Interactivity. The Plot Builder tool allows users to add interactive elements. Bullet. Monetization. Users can monetize their creations by selling or renting their plots, charging entry fees, and or adding advertising. Publishing. Once the plot is complete, users can publish it, making it accessible for other users to visit, explore, and interact with. Many of you have been curious about how much available space you have to build on your lands. The Metaverse team has disclosed the following information. Owner's land. For owned land, users have access to 1,764 1, meters squared, 42 by 42, which is equivalent to approximately 18,984 square feet, 137.8 times 137.8. This is the total area of land and includes any terrain, roads, and features that may be present. Buildable land. For buildable land, users have access to 1,024 meters squared, 32 by 32, which is equivalent to approximately 11,000 square feet. 105 times 105. This is the maximum area that people can use to create and build on their land. Avatar Builder. With the Avatar Builder, users can create a unique digital identity with a wide set of personalization options. From pre-made templates to custom customizable body features, facial elements, hairstyles, clothing, and accessories. Users will have every opportunity to express their individual style by using both photorealistic or stylized avatars. And here you have a stylized Ryoshi preview. That's awesome. That's actually pretty sick, to be honest. That's pretty sick. It looks almost like, well, it's a render, but I'm saying it almost looks like those 3D images from 3D printers right before they get pressed or printed. Game Maker. Wait for the next blog to find out what lies behind this wonderful tool and all its details. Next reveal, Rocket Pond. We are thrilled to announce that Rocket Pond will be the next reveal, a hub that will take you to new heights, quite literally. While we pre prepare for the flyover launch, take a sneak peek at the first previews that the Metaverse team has prepared. And if you see, look at that road, beautiful road. Look at the texture of patches of grass. It's not just a uh, grass, green, you know what I mean? Like bot pixelated. No, look at this. You can see the, the shadows, the textures of the different colors from the light to the yellow, to the darker greens, to the orange, to, to the road. Look at the road just trailing off. You, you see the distance, a fog in the distance. And that's just the top image with a very pristine looking road, okay? The middle, you have the, the hot spa. And once again, you have the, the different details, the shades, the reflections. This one right here, I haven't seen before. It's a little dark, but it looks like there's cranes to build mountain and, and it looks like different structures off. 
And if you look at the sky, my God, look at this. It looks like the Aurora Borealis, like the northern lights. I mean, truly breathtaking. It's beautiful. And then you see the bottom. It looks like it's some type of hub. And then and look at that skyline. Look at, look at that beautiful sky, like a pink, beige, purple, maroon kind of hue with the man it's it's beautiful look at the lights look at the details in the buildings look 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 just look at this no stopping any time sign i mean this isn't this isn't some amateur you know b listed no this is a triple a team this is the best of the best this is a project that is going to have a a type of lasting perpetuity into the distance we are at the cusp of the birth of something that has never truly been seen before okay we know what metaverses are out there and i'm gonna be honest they don't look like this they don't look anything close to this they look like a 1980s nintendo game all right let's keep it 100 all right so south by southwest experience the metaverse team's goal was to gather feedback on their wag me pre-alpha immersive piece by showcasing it to the outside world in a festival style. They recognize that relying solely on internal feedback from their team and content creators may not be sufficient, and that feedback from consumers is critical in establishing a feedback loop for any new technology or platform. With the main question surrounding the definition of a metaverse, they aimed to answer this by demonstrating that the landowner lands could look like what the landowner lands could look like. The team's presence at the event was centered around community building and increasing awareness of SHIB, the metaverse concept. Rather than solely attracting new users, they aim to join an already established community and showcase their vibrant and active movement. By doing so, they aim to bring more attention to the metaverse concept rather than just the crypto space. Their efforts paid off as the team's booth was a popular attraction at the festival drawing in attendees who were both familiar and unfamiliar with SHIB project. The festival organizers praised the team's marketing approach as the best, leading to a high th throughput of attendees who experienced the immersive piece. The team's gr ground crew experienced press coverage and social media channels all contributed to their success in drawing people into the immersive side of the festival. The press is saying, Forbes, bow, go ahead and read it there. Fast Company, bow, read it there. International Business Time, bow, read it there. In fact, I've read this. Go ahead and go through my channel. I hit this one and I hit this one. I don't think I read the Fast Company because I wouldn't remember that. Fast Company is a good uh, publisher. So is, I mean, Forbes, but Fast Company to me is like like the Wall Street Journal type situation. Like they're, the level of journalism is, is on, on point. All right, to sum up, the Metaverse team is working hard to connect with and understand the community, improve its growth, and communicate effectively with the entire SHIB army. They will be keeping everyone informed through their new social pages on Twitter and SHIB.io, where you can stay up to date on the latest news, partnerships, and ongoing articles. They're committed to being open and adaptable to changes in the rap rapidly evolving landscape and looking forward to engaging with all the followers. Woof. Awesome article. I love updates. I like I like the 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 images they released. You know, you got like the Ryoshi as well. Like this is like I'm telling you guys, this isn't any project. We're talking about a project, Shiba Inu now, that reached the billions of dollars in a couple of years. You tell me what company you know has done that, all right, in a couple of years. So, and on top of that, we know that SHIB is three times more valuable than Bitcoin. Satoshi unit for Satoshi unit. So, yeah. All right. Well, with that said, you already know Crypto Marxist, a.k.a. Bone Army, coming at you with another one like I just did. So if you like the info, like Ship the Metaverse, like Shiba Inu, Leash, Bone, and the whole ecosystem, like getting updates, go ahead and hit that sub. Your boy got you. Go ahead and hit that like. We got to get that algorithm. And of course, as always, 
I'm Bone Army. You're Bone Army. We are Bone Army, baby. That's how we do it. And I'm out.